just days after flood waters receded. Now the city of Ithaca is trying to prevent more ice jams. At several sites around the city, backhoes and excavators are breaking up ice in Fall Creek and Cascadilla Creek. Rising temperatures and the possibility of two inches of rain on Saturday could cause problems if water can't move freely through the remaining ice chunks. Because it is supposed to warm up on Saturday, uh, from what I hear, high around close to 50. So with that ice melting, it's going to shift downward and, and we're worried about it, you know, piling together in one location. The city also received permission to spray treated wastewater in Cascadilla Creek, where the massive ice jam occurred on Monday. The roughly 50 degree water is melting some of the built up ice, and since the water is treated, the county says there's no health risk. This water is typically uh, uh, put in the lake after it's treated, uh, so we're just a little bit downstream from that, um, and hopefully we're making a good use out of something we already were producing. Engineers say the water being pumped in could melt six tons of ice each day. So we have a DEC permit. We're allowed to do this. Um, and we've actually gotten pumps from the state down in here to help us get this moving. The city is also making sand and bags available at the DPW facilities division for neighbors that experience flooding. Several city of Ithaca departments will be on a conference call with the National Weather Service tomorrow morning as they try to make plans for the weekend. For now, reporting from Ithaca, I'm Alex Dunbar.